In this video, we'll be talking about how to get the Black Spindle, or Black Hammer, or in this game, it's called Whispers of the Worm. And let's get started! Alright, so first things first, you will need to be on Io in the Lost Oasis, and this is where the longest part gets. You need to wait for the Taken Blight public event. You don't have to do it, you just need to wait for it and go find a Taken Champion. The Champion can be anywhere from up high, down low in a cave. When I did it, found him low inside a cave. Now for the public events, it can either be the Cabal X whatever drill thing? I don't entirely remember what it is, but it's the drill. It can either be that, like three to five times in a row, or you can get the Taken Blight instantly. It's just kind of one of those things. So, wait there, get the Blight, and then look around for the Taken Champion when the event starts. Once you kill him, there will be a portal thing that pops up, out next to the Lost Sector, out in the open. It's very hard to miss once the guy's dead. The fire team leader needs to activate it, and you want to make sure that everyone has stuff for mobility, and everyone has their weapons and stuff equipped, so it's minimal time moving. Because once you get in there, you have 20 minutes. And now, this is where the fun begins. So, let's go ahead and talk about what's going on in there. Because you have a limited amount of time, you have 20 minutes. There's two sections to this. There's the jumping puzzle, then there is the combat section. There's three main areas with two kind of in-between side areas. You need to kill only the adds. You can kill the blights, of course, to open up lines of sight and kill more adds effectively. I actually recommend that. But you don't need to kill all the blights. You just need to destroy the ones in your way. But you do need to kill all the adds. I recommend using a scout rifle in one of your slots, something that can kill adds up close in another slot, and something powerful in your heavy. That powerful thing could either be a shotgun, which I'd recommend. The first two main areas have just a shitload of adds. There's solar shields in the first area, and then there's solar and void inside the second area. Make sure that you bring weapons that can counter both of those. Inside the last area, there are arc shields, but in this strategy, you won't need it. Hopefully. Once you get to the final room, you'll drop down from this like triangle area that had a lot of scions. You drop down and you'll get into this big, like, Mars-ish looking area, that's the tone I got from it. There will be three bosses. A Taken Knight, a Taken Captain, and a Taken Centurion. The way my team rolled with it was shooting the Captain when he's visible on the left hand side. When he's not, shoot the Captain. Once the Captain goes down, because he is the softest target, but he's a glass cannon. He's easy to kill, relatively, but he hurts like hell. So make sure that you hit him when possible, and just make sure that you're focusing on the knight because he does have the medium size health pool. And then the last one, focus on the centurion. He has the most health, and he loves to hide in the back of the room, if you do the strategy that I'm going to talk about a little later. So, let's get into the beginning of it, because as you can see from the b-roll, I've just kind of been skipping through it. So. At the beginning, you will spawn inside the Lost Sector from the Lost Oasis. So, if you're just waiting for the public event to come up, you can actually test your jump and see how you need to jump it. So, for the Hunters, if you don't have Stompies, you cannot make this normal jump that I'm going to show for the other two classes. For the Warlock and Titan, for the Titans, if you have Lion Rampant, use that exclusively for this section. Warlocks? Focus Burst? I don't know, I haven't tried my Warlock in this, but I'm fairly sure that they can make it. So, from here you're going to want to jump up on this little rock thing off to the right hand side of the path, and then do a sprint jump and make it on top of the like little rock here next to the chest. You can mantle right here, so if you don't make it perfectly, you got that. If you don't get it the first try, try it a couple more times. If you can't get it that way, go ahead and take the separate route, this secondary speed route. So you jump up on the exact same rock, except you turn around and you look toward the path that would lead out of the Lost Sector. On top of there, there's like this circular cutout inside this bone piece. You jump up in that, and then you can run, do a little sprint jump, and go over to this little cutout platform here. 
that goes into the wall. And same thing for once you're up to the chest. You just jump back over to this platform. This is where the jumping puzzle begins. And there's a blight in there. Shoot out that blight, and then a hole will be in the ground. You drop down that, and you're in. So, going through. You'll get to this little red room, just go ahead and go through there. Once you get past that and you slide through and you crawl through the little tunnel there, you'll get to the pistons. The pistons will be trying to push you and get you to fall to your death. Just take it nice and easy here. It, you don't need to be fast, you don't need to mess up. So you just need to go straight across and down. This part is pretty much straightforward until you get to the bottom area. And all you need to do right here is jump up and look right around the corner. You'll need to kind of go a 90 degree jump kind of thing. Not that difficult, but it is there. And that's where you need to go. Once you're there, there will be these long little slow moving pistons. Not like the shorter fast ones. So you need to time it and go along the side here crouched and make it through before the pistons push you off. You can actually make it through two of these things before they start moving if you have seven mobility. Any less? I don't know. But I know seven and higher will work because mobility only works on base movement speed. So walking, crouch walking, stuff like that, and jumps. So higher mobility would work best for this kind of area. So go ahead and go through, and once you make it to the end of that, you'll look to the left, jump over to this ledge, and go across there. You'll make it up to this, like, block. There will be a block on the wall. You jump on that, and that's the elevator. Wait for it to ride you up to the top, and as soon as it hits the top, it's going to come straight back down. So go ahead, feel free to jump on it, and as it gets to its apex, go ahead and just jump off like I did. Now once you get to the end of that, hook a left, and just go up that path. It'll look like you can keep going, it leads to a dead end. Don't do it. So once you're through that, you'll get to the next section. That's the, what I'm going to call the diamond hole. It's pretty much just a diamond that has things coming up from the bottom right and down from the top right. Those try and knock you to the left. It's actually really easy to get through there. There's just a lot of things that can get you stuck and pretty much piss you off. I just run straight through. If I get knocked off warlocks, this might not work for you all that well. But hunters and titans, if you get knocked off, just use your ability to get back on. I usually run over the first one, and then when the second square on the bottom comes out to push me off, I usually just let it, and then I jump around. That's the easiest way that I've found to do it, because there's a lot of things to get you stuck in that little passageway. Once you get through there, you'll get to the booping phase. The booping phase has a ton of Taken Phalanx shield boops that love to charge up and just boop you off the map. And if you time it right, you won't need to deal with any of that. Hunters, if you do not have stompies, I don't know how well this will work for you. But what I do since I have Stompies, and Titans can do this, and I'm fairly sure Warlocks can because Warlocks have further range than normal Hunter jumps. So just run, sprint jump, I'll cross this big gap, skip the first one, and land on the second one. As soon as you land on the second one, it should be going off anytime now, and you just need to keep on running. Run and jump to the next one. If you don't think that you can make it through right away, Titans, Turn around and drop your shield because there's a sniper right behind you and he will F your day up. If you don't have that and you don't think you can make it through that little tunnel piece, turn around and snipe them. This is why you have your weapons equipped prior. So you can just snipe them with your scout rifle or if you have a sniper, do that. Something that kills him quick because he can three tap you. Once you're done with that, turn around, go through that little path and jump to the next one and then the next one. The second to last jump area piece thing does not have a booper, but a sniper can see you. Feel free to knock him off to help your team behind you, or just keep going. For the path, it'll be a square little thing with a door that loves to shut. Time it to where the door is open. That's all I can really say. If not, there's a tiny little lip on the outside that you can stand on while it's closed, and then once it opens, you just go through. From here, you're inside the portal room. There are only two portals in there that will not kill you. Every other one will kill you. These portals are on the top left and the top right. If you go on the top left, you'll just fall down and need to come up to the top right. So go to the top right. There will be a knight that spawns at the far end that just tries to shoot you. You can leave him, you can kill him, it doesn't matter. Running straight past is the easiest way because it's also the fastest. You should be inside the grass room now. This one looks very big and intimidating. It's supposed to. All you need to do is come down to the base level where it comes down diagonal right here, turn around, look to where you were, and go to this dark spot here. 
your ghost should light up in a certain spot, and that's what you should have. Now slide at a diagonal angle going toward the giant open area where you came from. That'll get you to fall down a hole into the path. Follow the path around to the right, and you'll come up some stairs to a big open area. To the left, there's a like pillar thing with a walkway going around. The walkway tapers in as you go around, and there's a little cutout there that may throw you off. So just either jump over that or run and be ready to jump. Warlocks just jump around. When you get to the end of that, there will be a giant chasm with a tiny bit of light at the bottom. Jump down that and you are nearly done. Take that leap of faith and keep on going. You'll get up a few things and then you'll find your way to a red hallway with a diagonal roof. Once you get there, you're done with the jumping puzzle. Now it's combat. The loadout I used was Midnight Coop, the Polaris Lance, and the Perfect Paradox Shotgun because I don't have the EP Shotgun yet. So, if you have the EP Shotgun, use that. If you have the Polaris Lance, use that. Anything really works inside the Kinetic as long as it complements your energy. With your energy in mind, if you don't have a Polaris Lance, use another Scout Rifle. Preferably a Scout Rifle. You can use anything else, but Scout Rifle works. If you're not using a Scout Rifle and you're using, say, a SMG or something like that, then complement it with a Kinetic Scout Rifle or something along those lines. You want to make sure that you're effective in all ranges because there are close quarter enemies as well as snipers. You want to make sure you can deal with the snipers. That's probably the most important part. They just do so much damage. It's not even funny. Titans, switch to your Syntheseps. And the Hunters of the group, switch to Raiden Flux or Orpheus Rig, whichever one you want. For composition, I'd probably say have definitely a Sunbreaker there, period, because Melting Point is overly powerfully awesome. Sure. For Hunters, Orpheus Rig would work, but it is a bit odd with the Blights, so it may cut off sight lines, so it may not do its full effect. Or you could run Raiden Flux. That would probably be the best one, so you can just go through and clear a bunch of ads. For the Warlocks, Stormcaller works really well for the exact same reason as the Raiden Flux. You can clear a bunch of enemies. Now you could go with the Nova Bomb or the Dawnblade. Either one will work, just Stormcaller may be the better option. And like I said earlier, all you need to do is go through, kill all the adds. The way my team did it was in the first area, we had a Raiden Flux Hunter go in and kill all the main trash mob first, and then fall back and we cleared the first three blights in the room. From there, we had a Sunbreaker come in and throw his hammers and have him explode on as many big targets as possible. From there, you just go in and clear the rest with guns. Because, in the next little in-between section, there are a ton of adds and you can't run away really. So we went in and popped our second Arc Strider in there and went in and cleared them. That allows you to open up the next door and get into the next area. If you do it fast enough, your Arc Strider will still be able to go and kill more enemies. If you take a little too long, you may be stranded out there without a super, after you try and kill a couple of enemies like I did. See? Now, inside the second room, clear the enemies right next to the starting. That's your safe zone. That's where you want to kill things. So, there will be a blight in the front and a blight on the right, I believe. Kill the enemies there. That is where you need to make a safe zone. From there, there should be three to four snipers up on the far end, with two knights high up on the sides, and three wizards. Priorities are the snipers, then the wizards, in my opinion. Take out the two wizards, one in the far back and one in the midsection. Leave the left one for now. The left one will be the last. Then kill the knights. Can either be the right or the left, doesn't matter which one's first, just make sure you kill them. And do not stay close to the door that you came in from because there will be a blight pusher thing that will push you back into the room even if you don't want to. So don't do that. Stay off to the sides where there's like the little cross pillar things, stay there. Once you're through there, you'll get to the little drop triangle area. Don't go charging in. There's three snipers up high on the left, with one straight ahead. There's probably 12 to 15 scions down there, and once you go far enough into that little tunnel, two phalanxes pop in behind you.
go in far enough where they spawn, kill the phalanxes. So you can, as soon as the blight shield drops, you kill that first hobgoblin, and then you turn around. Kill those phalanxes, and then you can go through kill the other snipers, then wipe all the scions. The reason why you want to wipe the scions is so if you die down inside the boss room, you can come back and not get kind of shot up as you come down. If you don't want to kill the scions, all you need to do is kill the snipers. The snipers is what controls the gate. Once you kill them and you drop down, you'll get to the boss room. Clear out at least the first blight on the left and the right, as well as the blight in the middle of the room. Those three are the only three that you need to take out. After the first group of adds are done, the bosses will spawn. The first boss that spawns will be the Taken Captain, and then the Taken Knight, and then the Centurion. The Taken Captain will go to the right hand side of the room, the Taken Knight will be on the left, and the Taken Centurion will be in the center. The preferred method that my team chose was using Polaris Lance. If you don't have Polaris Lance, then use something else that can kill from range because the tactic is to stay back up on the hill that you came in on, behind the things that push you into the kind of opening. The reason why you want to chill back here is because adds non-stop spawn. So make sure that you are up on the back and able to shoot things, either be with sleeper simulant or just anything that can give you ammo. Or if you need to jump down there, you can do that too. If you die and your team can't get you, you spawn up top, where the triangle area is. So make sure that you don't die, because that'll lose time on DPS. And if you're up on the hill, you do not need to worry about adds. Just focus on boss damage. Once you kill all three taken bosses, you get the spindle immediately dumped into your inventory. I don't know what happens if you have full inventory. Don't try that, go in with a open inventory. At least one slot. Probably two or three, just in case you get a couple blue heavies. Anyways, once you do that, you unlock the heroic version. I won't go into much detail about that for this video, that'll be inside the next one. But the heroic version is where you get your catalyst. The catalyst gives you box breathing once you fully upgrade it, as well as increased reload speed once you fully upgrade it. So the heroic version is nothing really too different. All you need to do with that is go in and do it again. Only difference is the enemies hit harder and there's a singe on there. So this week, the week that it came out, there is Arc Singe. The next week, I'm assuming we'll go down the list and not up to Solar Singe, then finally Void Singe. But it could go in the opposite order. I don't know, this is only week one. Now that you guys know how to do this and what to expect, I did not talk about power level and what you should be when you come in. You should be as high as physically possible before you come into this. It's difficult at 370. 380? It's still pretty darn difficult. Things kill you fast. So make sure you're as high and as powerful as you can. Bring your light up, bring your power up, get ready to kick some ass. So I think that's everything that I need to cover in this video. Look out for the next one talking about the chest locations, as well as the oracle patterns that you need to shoot them. That is for the catalyst and how to upgrade it, and it takes, by the looks of it, three weeks to complete. So I should have that out tomorrow or the day after, or maybe the day after that. I don't know. I'll have that out. Be ready for it. It's coming. I'm back. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, so the rest of the video will now be the full whisper run just so you guys can see how it rolls and how my team did it. Exactly. Alright, now, as always, you do you, shoot shit, Gosh, don't die. Alright, let's do it. Charge. Alright, time Dumb. started, let's go. Shit, I gotta get on top of this, huh? Alright, I'm up here. Light busted. Going down. Jesus. Sorry about that. Stupid. So I'm just gonna try and speed run as quickly as I can. I'll try to follow up. I shouldn't be too bad at this. Yeah, this is only my second time this coming through this. Shouldn't. Really no. This is my fourth. I don't know if hunters can make that gap that Titans can right here. Titans can jump straight across this entire valley. I know this. 
Yeah, same. A cheater. <laughs> what? How did I just get pushed when I wasn't even touching this? Okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be a little behind on this part, just cause I should be chilling here. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for you to go, cause our things are slightly. Oh, this is gonna be fucked for the. F oh, that part where it's like. It's like the Taken Phallic Shield Blast or whatever, that part's probably going to be the thing that fucks me on this. Yep. I'm going to wait, I'm not trying to risk yeah, it. Yeah, I'm kind of trying to stagger this. So we move well enough. Anytime is sentry. Yep. I wish the parkour didn't take so long on this part. I wish the time gated stuff wouldn't take so. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! You fucking slipped. I just saw that, so I yeah, I should have used this. Oh, I'm surprised I made that. Jump that part. I'm so doubtful of my hunter's ability. So abilities. once you get up the elevator, Fuck. take a left as soon as you get to the end of that ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that. I got that. It's just the green room that's probably gonna fuck me up. Well, I can show you where to go with that. Just maneuvering as a hunter is pretty AIDS for me. If I get this first try with you guys, I'm actually gonna be so upset at myself for being better with my hunter at point cores and shit. That part, this is the part what? that might piss what? me off because I don't know if I have to time this correctly. I didn't get my jump. There you go. Okay, I clearly went through okay. my Sniper. I'm gonna turn around real quick. Or you could just tank all the damage, that's cool too. It's pretty yep. weak. I'm just gonna wait for this to blast. Watch out. Uh, okay. Go, 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 go. I'll just, I'd bypass this. Oh, the hell he fell off. Yep. Okay. That's probably gonna crush. Oh, shit. Oh, you, just, you just ran straight through it on yep, my screen. Yep, on mine I was good. I noticed that it desyncs a lot. The one on the back far right, yep. I know that. I know there's a knight that spawns here, but you don't have to fight him whatsoever. Just go straight on through. You know, go through. Alright, so we're there here There we go. Yep. So, right, right over here. This hole. Should be this. Yep. So, now you just slide into there. You fall right on through. Wait, is that a cheese? Yes. No, it's an actual path. I mean, it actually what does the have a route fuck? there, though. It's a cheese. You're kidding me, dude. That's a cheese. There's no way I'm telling everybody I know about that now. Thank you so much for opening yep. my. I did the whole fucking parkour no. thing when I did. Yeah, it saves first you time. like four minutes. It didn't let me. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Oh my god, I made that. Holy shit! In a biscuit, dude. You just. You just shit that's in a biscuit. That moment does right there. not sound sanitary, dude. That is such a eureka moment. You just you eat shitty bix biscuits oh for breakfast. My God, oh my fuck! I'm I missed that goddamn everybody, jump. Dude, I'm everybody that's doing this. I'm here with the ads, bro. I'm already, I'm game, bro. Here we go. Wow, I am just making so many bad mistakes. Like my jumps are. Why does the phallic early. shield thing have so much range? That is such a BS thing to have. <gasps> fuck you. I know. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get my energy back one one fucking day or another. So. God damn it. I'm trying to rush it and it makes me yep. dumb. That's Stop. what I'm doing. If you're about to be by me, Molly, you can just pick me up. I'm already if you're gone. right behind. Or did you pass you me? Passed. All right. I killed yeah, Molly, a knight, two vandals, and a fat amount of ads just now. Nice. I'm probably going to die you use soon your enough super? here, though. Yeah, I did. But I'm also killing right. things currently. Wait for so. me before you use your super, Molly, because I want to uh, share orbs. 
get up there. I mean, if you don't die, my orb should still be here. So I mean, well, I might have died from jumping. I'm I'm there now. I'm here and about to walk into this ad room. But... Oh god, have, not having worm husk, it's like not being able to play a hunter, dude. I swear, I don't. I can't crutch. <laughs> this is ridiculous playing a hunter. I'm I'm running in with hammers, and I'm gonna take out this knight just with the solar. Oh, shield. there's a fucking oh. There's a goblin. There's a sniper move. guy up on the right. Look, need to take him as well. Got him. He's behind you. That's a vandal. I'm going for him right now. Yes, it is. Shit. It's fucking. Got him. Nice. I'm maxed out on ammo right now. By the way. All right, like, we I should be able to push up, good, right? Ammo. We don't we need blades. Yep, go for it. Go I got this. Watch out for that shield. This is efficient as fuck. Through. Oh, we're chilling, we're chilling. Does anybody got a super pop that they can, um... I'm halfway through and I'm just eating orbs yeah. now. My super's nice. back. My super's back. I'll probably pop it in this next room here. Oh, that's a shield. That's fine. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Good shit. Take snipers when you can. Careful about walking in front of the door where we spawned in, because it'll kick you out with that super Wizards shield. Down. I almost have my hammer. Another wizard dead. Good. I just died. I made three orbs though, but I got two wizards and two snipers just now. Good shit, good shit. Fuck. Wait, did got it turn me around? On the right hand side. Dude, I have one of this damn light out. Yeah, some of the blights are like almost a mandatory because they cover your line of sight most of the time. Here, I'm going in for the. Yo, Polaris thing. does work. What the yep. fuck? Oh, you'll get my res right here. I Polaris. got you. What the f dude? No wonder people recommend when you team shot. It, this thing does wonders. I think that goes for just about that anything. Night? If you team shot, they do wonders. Well, it's just certain weapons PVH just because of their damage output. Oh, that's a sniper. We gotta get them oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, that was working up a bit crazy. Oh, he's hella weak. Right top, left, top left hobgoblin from my perspective. I'm up here with Shoddy. I'm about to take him back in. Oh, shit. Maxed out on ammo. Let's get that other one. That knife. Why does it spawn you back further? I don't like that. It's so annoying. We're almost there, dude. I got that snipe down. We just gotta get the wizard down. Nice job, nice job. Wizard's hiding well. over here to the left. On it, on it. Wizard's shield is down, shield is down. Wizard's down. dead, wizard's dead. Go to the door. Door's up. Snipers. Phalanx is behind me. Before we drop, before we drop, I want to switch to my Polaris. Oh shit, um, I just got spawned on. Ready. Oh, Watch your back. Wait, you say they're behind us? Oh, they are. Shit. Oh my fucking god. I'm trying to res you. It won't let me res you. Hold on, give me a sec, give me a sec. Let me hold X on you for some reason. Gotcha, gotcha. Thanks. No, oh, I got one. Oh, I'm just gonna just jump save me there. The, up. There's another All sniper right. up top somewhere to your left. Dropping down to your left. Wait, we gotta kill these ads. Gotta kill the snipers. Come up here, yeah. at least. Fuck. I killed the snipers. I killed the snipers. Alright, I just want to kill all these ads because we're guaranteed gonna die a couple times. I'd rather not get raped by them when we respawn. Yep, yep. I'm also getting super energy off these guys right now. Open it up. Alright, I'm switching to Polaris. This is the most amount of time I've had. Ten minutes. Dude, can I friend you guys to run this again? Bro? Yeah. Yeah, well, I wanted to run over. it for a minute, so for sure. Oh hey, why don't you raid and flux real quick and push up and start killing All right, ads. I will. I don't have my I need the orbs. Yet. I don't have I need the orbs to be able to use Don't it kill the them. I can start. Oh, I'll let you do that. Yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. I saw that. Don't kill ads, just kill uh, orbs at the top and do it for the ads. I'll weaken them for you just a little, so you can one-shot them if you get by them. I'm going to pick up your orbs and use my super right after. Hold up. Snag. I'm out. All right, what other ads have we not? Killed? Don't other use your I'm yeah. not gonna waste my super on these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll use it when they start getting hordes out. All right. So we can just All do right, one now boss I'm gonna at a time, can't we? Boss. Get ready for uh, like a shoddy blast on one of these. Where the fuck is the first boss? In? Right here. There. I'm gonna push up on this guy right now. Melting point. Just shoddy him. I just died. And he just tossed his orbs at me. I'm dead. Respawning. 
That's fine if you die, because quite frankly, we're just trying to do as much to this guy as we can. Alright, he's low. We got that one. Do you want me to use my super or no? I can make orbs um, off of him. If I kill a boss, it will generate like four, three. I would hold it for now. We have nine minutes. Let's see where we are in like four minutes and then, if it, and then maybe reconvene on that idea. We should be able to back up though, come up this hill and then just pick up the bosses from a distance with Polaris Lance. Yeah. You guys are too close still. I can back yeah. up. I tried getting damage off on him. There's a blight in the way, that's why I tried getting rid of that. Damn it. Yeah, there's a boss on the right with the blights covering him. Yeah, there's a boss on the left, left as well. Oh, the right, right. We need to take out that Centurion. The, le the left take one out. is totally big. Take, take, the, yeah, take the one on the left right now. Shoot the, shoot the left guy. Shoot the left guy. He's not moving and I'm hitting him non-stop. Dude, this Get is that dumb, left bro. <laughs> We're just sitting here picking at him. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Dude, that... I, get, I guarantee you the only reason we have 10 minutes is because you knew about that stupid cheese. It, oh yeah, oh my god, you're you're definitely. a genius. I don't know where you found that, but whoever found that is actually on Reddit. I think it was Reddit. Giggs who posted it. Yo, yeah, boss on the left is visible again. He's moving around. One bar is down. Try into the second. Try to floor. shoot out those orbs whenever you see them, so we don't accidentally get team light by orbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once oh, we so get it down to like one boss, to this is literally just up. fucking him up. Go to the right. See hello weak. He's the weakest one, but he hits the hardest, dude. Yeah, that's Fallen dude, I would love to take crazy. him out right now because he's being annoying. I'd love those to take out those shadows. That's what I'm trying to do as you guys shoot him. I think that one's the most tankiest. The Cabal one. Yeah. He's hiding behind a freaking blight is the problem. The, the one who shoots the... Yo, I'll try to the, take, the I'll take aggro for his orbs real quick. You guys just keep shooting at him, yeah? I'm trying to just sit here. Shit. Okay. We need to pick first. one off first so we can get down to two. There's one right here. Left. He's hella weak. He's, he's less than a block. One on the left me. is out wide in the open, though. The one on the yeah, left, shit, that's a dart. It's like... Work the left one when we he's can. He's a really easy shot. That's right. a dart! Oh. Darts are actually When that crazy. one goes away, we work the, uh... Middle, unless we can see the right one. Okay. If we can we see the right one, was. then we shoot the right one, because that one is the most annoying to me, at least. This right one needs to die, man. I'm in a melting point of a shotgun, and I'm just gonna see if I die, I die. All right, go for it. Go for it. I'll follow you. Follow you. He's really low. First one's dead. I killed him. I killed him. Nice. Good save. Now back, back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Yep, yep, yep. Watch out for the thing coming out of the wall. Oh, so close! Right, Shoot that guy, dart. Left guy is no. up. Oh, oh shit! Left guy is visible. The, left, but the problem is obviously we got the orbs on us. The left guy is visible. Yo, I'll watch darts. I'll shoot darts while you guys are doing that. Yeah, if you can be dart duty, we can pick this left guy off, and then we can push the last the guy. Whenever I see him go outside of my blight. sight, I'm gonna try and shoot the middle. There's guy. a minotaur to our right. Careful. The left guy's getting his ass raped. Yep. Guy in the middle's open. Keep him down. Cheering up the guy in the middle right now as I'm shooting darts. Left oh, you guys guy's are going down left. really soon. He's left really, guy's really, really dead. Really Here, hold on, team. Shut the. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Left I'm gonna move dead. for middle. the uh, yeah, light. We have five bombs. fucking minutes. You guys are outstanding. You, you actually, does actually anyone have the shotgun ammo? You guys are chill people. Cause I only have two. I have four shots. Can you and go? I have shredder. plenty, but problem. Can you get into the middle blight out there? You are striking the middle blight. Wait, actually, wait, 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 wait. Wait before you do that. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Middle blight's fine. What? Just wait before what? you pop super because I almost have my shoulder charge. I wasn't, no, I, I was just gonna kill blade. myself so I can take out the middle blight. Oh, yeah, if you can take out the middle blight, that would be nice. But I was saying before Ooh. you go super, let me nail melt and get yeah. him, and then that middle would be the bonus damage. Holy, oh, there was heavy there. I could have picked up the bug. No, it's whatever. Alright. We still have four minutes. He's open right now. Dude, hilarious. Let's just hit yeah. him as long as he's Watch, open. Bro. Watch out for the dart. He's backing off. <laughs> as much as he's back. This is freaking this awesome. This is ridiculous, oh, dude. I love Who would have thought a scout rifle like this would have benefited us? Crazy. He's hiding in that backlight now. What a dick. There's heavy ammo. If I pick it up, I can just send it to him. Do you want to just push this dude? No, I'm yeah. Point. You raid and Let's push him. Start hitting him. 
Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Go for I'm it. I'm gonna go melt. Try not to get hit real quick. Try not to get hit from anything. I'm gonna get hit. I'm probably gonna die after I melt the plane. I did die, but I melted plane. That's fine. That's fine. Start hitting him with super. Just fuck him up. Fuck him up. Oh, he staggered. He staggered. Get him, boys. Let's go. You guys got him. Ready? Wee. What's up? Wee. Let's go, Wee. baby. Wee. Yo, I need a friend of both Wee. of you. You guys are legit people. You guys know what we you're got doing. It. Oh Beep. my god. Yeah, sure, bro. I can't find any normal people until I found you guys. You guys are great. <laughs> We're normal? You guys are actually good people. <laughs> you guys are human beings that know. actually know how to use your thumbsticks. Oh my god. Well, I typically Holy. pride myself on being a human being that can use joysticks. Thank you. Thanks for noticing. I feel so dirty. I spent frickin' money on Destiny 2 again. <laughs> I feel so filthy.